Good morning, guys. What's cooking? We woke up at 3.30 a.m. This isn't a 20-year-old CEO morning routine video. We actually did. And this is where we slept. In a Halat family vacation crib. Where are we going, by the way, now? Barzan. Barzan. Cool. The, the place of born our president is Masoud Barzan. Okay, okay. We're going to see Masoud Barzani's birthplace. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's my <laughs> Taking a sandwich for the way. Also, what do you need? Uh, what do they chicken. have? Chicken, I will take chicken and I do Okay, I take chicken too, yalla. Okay, oh. I can't believe it's that hard to find coffee in Iraq. <laughs> no coffee either. No, do you no. like uh, chai? I like tea, but uh, you know, I need more ah. energy. <laughs> Can your back have space for the. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Just what, what? I want here, to take yeah. A sure. mask. Yeah, I'll put it in my, in my bag. So, Halat here organized a group of people that we're going with, right? With my. The owner of group is my friend. Okay, yeah. Group. Like a tour group. Yeah, yeah. So we're actually going somewhere that's really close to where I was yesterday. I'm just going all the way back. I wish I knew. Okay, we stopped for a toilet break. And toilet breaks in Kurdistan are in mosques. So let's go check out the mosque on the way. Got to take your shoes off at the entrance to the mosques. Oh man. Apparently it's locked, it opens up at prayer time. Let's see if we can peep from the windows. Okay, I had a look through the window and it's no Hajjah Sophia. It's just like basically what you saw from the outside, but bigger. By the way, I'm walking bare feet on this rubble. So I'm having mad coffee withdrawal, like little headaches and stuff, and we stopped at a shop by the side of the road. And we got some coke from Azerbaijan, made in Azerbaijan. Let's try it out. Not bad. Yeah, I can feel I can feel the headache going away. When I don't drink coffee I get headaches. You know? Because I'm addicted. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. We finally made it to Barzan, but that was terrible. Never again. We were on the minibus from 4.30 a.m. to... What's the time now? 11. 11.40. That's seven, over seven hours. Oh, and one correction. It's made in Iran, not Azerbaijan. Sorry about that. I was misled. Then they are 
Is that the traditional Kurdish in- instrument? Uh, it's a Kurdish guitar, yeah? Yeah, I think it's the traditional Kurdish. Yeah, traditional. Really nice. Adam Lawe. By the way, I've got no clue what's going on, like where we're going, why they're playing music, why everybody's standing in a square. <laughs> they put us all in a square, and they're gonna execute us. Yes, for big ch- No? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> just picture oh it's i think it's going on tv or something look at that camera yeah so what did the guy say yesterday when we were in a square he said that the place of barzan yes is uh, uh, 15 times uh, bombarded, 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 yeah, yeah. by uh, the Iraqi, Iraqi government. But the last Iraqi government, not the new Iraqi government, and they didn't renew it until uh, 1975 or 74. I don't know about two, two of them. You mean when uh, the last time that Saddam Hussein renewed. was persecuting the Kurds? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, like Saddam they, did it. Yeah, they unfallen a lot of Barzani also from this village. Yeah, like all, they fled. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, he told about this nature and we must respect this nature. And if you put the bottle of uh, water in the nature, they will uh, fine you by 25,000 Iraqi dinars. Oh. Khalat, what do you think about this place? It's very nice. Was it worth seven hours in a bus? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I can say it was worth the seven hours in the bus. I feel like I just woke up. Just, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Jack. And is this the first time here? Yeah. What do you think about this place? Uh, there's a beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, resident of Sulaimania. Yeah. Right. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. What are they doing, bro? He's cutting the wood. Uh, yeah, that's uh, all wood. For a fire. Uh, yeah. Is this the way you picture the rock? I don't think so. You probably thought of deserts and sand. What a surprise. Nice knife. People are chilling out, having tea on the fire.
He wants a mean cup of tea. <laughs> you live in UK. You can't skip a few. You live in? Living in UK. Okay. My name is Saluki and I'm the first Israeli YouTuber to come here to Kurdistan. I came here to show people in my country that Kurdistan is beautiful. It has beautiful nature and very generous people and delectable cuisine. And uh, people in my country think that it's dangerous. So I've come to break that stereotype. And I will be posting within the next few weeks on my YouTube channel. The T-H-E-S-L-U-K-I-E, the Saluki my experience here in Kurdistan. I think the Kurdish people are some of the nicest people I've ever met. They're always, I don't feel like a tourist here, I feel like a guest. If I go to a restaurant, they tell me, you don't have to pay, you are our guest. And um, I've been to 30 countries and this is on my top three definitely. And number one for the nicest people. Thank you so much. So I was just interviewed for Kurdish TV and I meant every word I said. I wasn't just saying that for the interviewer to be happy. Hi. <laughs> so I was wrong, that isn't the Kurdish instrument. No, it's a Turkish instrument and it's called Bahlama. Bahlama. Yes, and also it's called Saad. Saad. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. We learn every day. Yeah. <laughs> English. Uh, oh, uh, I'm just making, I make a vlog. Yeah. I make a vlog. You want to say, uh, I say in the end, thanks for watching. I love you. You want to say that? Okay, so this is the end of the hike. So I guess that's about it. I've got another seven hours in a bus and I still don't have a cell phone. So thanks for watching. I love you. Thanks for watching. I love you.